I'm TapTap, and welcome to chapter 16 of Ghost Trick. So, the previous videos of this game have all been streams, and I decided... It's a longer game than I usually stream, and it was just getting difficult to stream because there's a lot of reading. So I could usually only go for an hour, and it just covered up all my streaming time. So I decided, you know what, we'll do Let's Plays, we'll do Uploads the rest of this. If that doesn't matter to you, then whatever, it doesn't matter. But the videos would be a little shorter. But uh, this is Ghost Trick. If you are, if you don't know what this is, or you don't know why this is episode 8 all of a sudden, there will be a playlist in the uh, description that has all the previous episodes. So, new! And expect major spoilers in like the next minute, so get out of here. <laughs> If this is your first exposure to this playlist, start from the beginning. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. You gotta start from the beginning, Barker. That's right, Barker. Barker's yelling at you to avoid spoilers. So when we last left off, the entity that we've been chasing, we just kind of found out that there is another entity like us that can make impossible moves, possibly control time or manipulate objects or something. And it's trying to kill people, so that's great. So we gotta figure out what the hell the deal is with that. And we still don't know who we are. That seems important too. And we disappear at sunrise, and it's 4 a.m. That seems bad, Parker. That seems bad. That seems bad. Lynn kept her promise about keeping getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. If you're lucky, it's you know the time of the year where it's dawn at like six because. Sometimes around here, 4 a.m., you'd already be gone. There'd already be daylight. Hello? This is Chowd. Sissel, are you listening? Need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Poor guy. It wasn't for you. So, got a new phone number. I guess it's time to head to the control room. Are you addressing me? Well, you better get going. This long night is drawing to an end. Yeah, looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You would think, oh, this must end this video. It'll be a little bit more. The other end of the phone line. I'm gonna find all my answers. I better go. Mew. Not exactly sure how much longer. I would estimate at least an hour, but we'll see. That's right, Parker. A single telephone connects me and the other Sissel. Parky, why are you so loud today? Is that so? But that single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. It's a submarine! Does that look familiar to you, this area right here? And then just reach the center of the web. Oh. And there it disconnects. So I've checked out some of those other areas, I wonder. Not sure there's anything interesting to check out. Welcome to the Yanoa. Detective Chowd. Oh! <laughs> there. There we are! That mystery room we found in the very first chapter, and we could never seem to get to again, for the most part. With this very clearly dictatorial nose man my detective sense must have gotten rusty didn't sense your presence in the dark how could you not sense this massive overbearing meat steak of a human being Parker what are you doing my cat is being crazy that's because I switched the power to my mask off detective Jowd I used your phone hope you don't mind boop <laughs> yeah I love that Imagine how often all this crap must break. Egad! Never thought you'd track us here. Especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, eh? How'd you find us, my man? Not even the police knew where they, you own. I was going to surface, confound it. We detectives have a little saying. There's something you, you want to know about a case. Ask the criminals. So that's the guy who stole our body? Question mark? And seems to be using it like a 
spooky murder mannequin. The bullet in the man with the red was shot with a radio transmitter in it. Oh, ho, ho. clever girl. I have a little something for you. Baby. You didn't say it, so I have to say it. Cabanella has given me some pretty weird presents in the past. They always prove useful. This one was a radio transceiver made to look like a pocket watch. That somehow fit into a bullet, but okay. Hmm. Yes, Inspector Cabanella. I hear is quite an ex excellent investigator. By the way, where's the man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? Sissel, but that's our name. Oh, 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 spooky. You! You can relax. That's nothing but his shell. Just a corpse, just uh, just on the deck. His sh shell, huh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely, right about now, he's controlling your daughter. Uh-oh. That seems bad. Please, I beg if you let my daughter go. You hostage, just take me. Please, just let her go. Bah! There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. It's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it appears Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? Oh. <laughs> Whoa, whoa now. Whoa, whoa, what was that animation? That's not for kids. Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer, the source of his powers! <laughs> Loop. Oh, what's that? Just drip it out of his chest. Boop. Whoa. What in the world was that? The Tempsic fragment gives spirit special powers. Oh, that's the piece of that big meteor we saw in the last stream or two. Now our deal with Sissel is concluded, as far as we are concerned. What are you talking about? Tss, tss, what a mistake to make right at the most crucial moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. Much as I love this game, possibly. It's, you can tell when it snips into video mode, huh? Um. Even for a submarine, what? Just, what in the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jowd? Where did he go? Apparently, I'm not part of the room. Oh no, are you sinking the sub while I'm on it? You didn't even know I'm here. What now? They got an explosion somewhere, in any case. Then the little lady should be around here somewhere. It's more danger. Better find them fast. Of course there's balls. A classic. Oh, there's the phone. That's why we, okay. That's why we couldn't leave. M missile? So you're here, huh? It's Missile! Yes, I think I even I remember who you are by now. What do you suppose that shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, of course. I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog. My loss of memory, I can't say much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camellia. That trusty nose of yours can sniff him out? Sorry to say, I don't think it can. Why do you even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. Let's find that lady detective and the lady together. You got it! Missile's a very good addition to the game. Both both as a foil for Sissel and um, adding to the mechanics of the game. Telephone's ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camellia! I just know it! My trusty nose is practically screaming at me. I think you call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's go to that phone before it stops ringing. Alright, let's get a good look around the room first. Like I was trying to say... Oh, rip room. Um, oh, they got the... They took that rock with them, too. Well, there's torpedoes if we need them. So, there's just, there's a lot of dialogue, of course. Um, I guess I can swap these to no meaningful effect at all. Swap these, swap that around. 
I guess I just need to move Sissel. So Sissel can go... Oh, no. Go to Sissel. Sissel and Missile, by the way. Did you get that? I don't think I've commented on that, but it seems... Not coincidental. Swap these two. Missile always seems to be transporting us. Oh. Hello? I think I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I got a bad feeling about this. Sissel, look! That black hello? It came off the hook? <laughs> I love that he calls them hellos. Uh oh, I better answer it fast. Let's just... There we go. What's up, bro? Hello? Is anybody there? It's her. It's the little lady. It's Sissel. Where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess you can't hear my voice. You too? Oh, good. I thought it was she was just ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn is... Lynn is... Oh, are you dead again, Lynn? It's what? Number five, four, if you're dead? She said Lynn. Miss Lynn! You better hurry. Let's go, Sissel. Go there. Damn it, Lynn. We can't keep meeting like this, Lynn. It's no use. Nobody's answering. Hi, Parky. Introducing, like, the only main character of this game that has not died so far. Miss Camellia! And... Miss... Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn. Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy has happened. This is at least number four. I can't honestly count how many times it's been. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy! I knew you'd come. Wait, now she can hear me. Oh, wait, no, she did die, didn't she? That's right, Parker. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. No, the doggo died. Did Lynn die? It's it's hard to keep track of everybody dies, Parker. It's That's just the kind of game it is. Miss Camellia! And Missile, too. Glad to see you're all right. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all right exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? That's right, Camellia has a core now. So that means she did hear missiles before when she saved her that time. Oh yeah, we didn't save her, that's why I was confused. Missile saved her life, not uh, us. So that was you, wasn't it, Missile? All right, saving her from getting squished by that thing. You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. I helped, but okay. Miss Camellia. I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. Hey, Missile. Could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need my powers? Apparently not if I'm allowed to leave you. That's how video games work. I'll see what I can do on my own for a little while. After all, you're the only one to protect her. Okay, I'll do it! But but we need to go p just to save Lynn, but I, I guess it's, it's fine. We won't eat her. Let's just hope there's no like, suspiciously same-shaped but different-sized objects. That's right, Parker. You you are very needy today. He woke me up with 6 a.m. zoomies. My least favorite kind of zoomies. That's right. That's right! That's right. Why? Why are you so loud? It's very early for noise. Yes, 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 yes! It's 9.45, Barker. Wonder what happened this time. Better talk to the little lady a little more and then... Better do something about the detective lady. <laughs> I love the <laughs> the odd non-urgency of death because like she's already dead, so but, but we can turn it back, so we're just gonna kind of leave it at that for now. I'm sorry, I can't help right now, Sizzle, but I think you'd better stay with Miss Camellia. That's all right, I think so too. After all, you're the one to protect her. Oh, thank you, Sizzle. Yes. Could you say that again? I really like the sound of that. Yeah, maybe later. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, what happened? Can I talk to you a minute? Yes, sissy? Don't, <laughs> don't call me that! C could you tell me what happened to you? <laughs> the, 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 the raw power when she's just sitting there being kidnapped. Just like, yeah, I'm just reading a book. Got my juice. What happened after I last saw you at your old house? Oh, let's see, after that. I think I fell asleep. I woke up to the sound of an engine. She was already in the submarine by then, huh? I thought to myself, I have to escape. Escaping out of a submarine. This is 
risky proposition, honestly. Next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I'm so tired that I couldn't move, and then... Camellia! So relieved. I don't remember what happened after that. She must have passed out, the poor thing. That seems to happen a lot in, in movies and stuff. You know, it's actually very concerning if you just pass out. It's not like just like harmless, oh, double fist punch to the back of the head and then you fall over and you're fine. Like, <laughs> this is very dangerous, but, you know, drama. You've been through so much. You're so very brave. I think Lynn's probably been through more than me. Yeah! Honestly, I'm dead, and Lynn has been through more than me. You've both been brave. It's fine, though. We'll, we'll help her out. Anything more? Oh, oops. Same, same dialogue. Oops. I do appreciate the speed up thing, but that's my bad. Sometimes, it's, I, I'm, it's because of RPGs. You gotta talk to them twice. You gotta, actually the real trick of the RPGs is not talk to everyone twice. Talk to everyone until their dialogue stops changing. That's what you gotta do, because sometimes people have quests, they'll give you items. Um, in the worst cases, and this was a lot of times in PS1 games, um, there would be some random villager you have to talk to multiple times to advance the plot. And that, if you're, you know, say 10 years old and trying to play a goddamn video game and you're like what is this that was always very unfun oh sizzle you're here lynn what in the world happened here i, I don't know huh i just sort of blacked out all of a sudden next thing i knew i was dead that's a hell of a sentence next thing i knew i was dead yeah i guess you wouldn't know in that case Where's Detective Jout? Is he alright? I... I don't know. Huh? The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making less sense than before. After we left the Super's office, we were followed by the man in red. We talked him with that radio transmitter, Inspector Cabanella fired him into him with a bullet. The man in red took a boat out to sea from a small town on the harbor on the edge of town. Detective Jout and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. We sneaked onto the submarine with it when it, when it surfaced. Small submarine. We've basically seen all of it, huh? That was the part that got ejected. That seems to be where we are now. Or is it here? And that was the torpedo room we were just in. Before long, the submarine drove back down again. Detective Jow and I decided to split up. He would take care of the telephone line, and I would look for Camellia. I found Camellia hiding here in the engine room. She'd escaped and run away here. Wow, it's quite an adventure. What happened next? I... I don't know. Huh? It's a flash of white and next thing I knew I was dead! Boy, it sounds like it'd be quicker to see for myself. Alright, since this is gonna be Let's Play style, we're gonna do this a little bit shorter. So, I'll end the video here. Next time, we will see what the heck happened to Lynn. In her fourth or fifth death at this point but it'll be fine we'll, we'll fix it back up it's what we always do video games remember to like comment subscribe again if you are a naughty person you watch this video out of sequence please go back and watch the whole playlist um, it'll make a lot more sense that way it is a mystery game you got to see the mystery this was both at the same time very spoiler heavy and not very spoiler heavy at all if you missed the earlier game, and it's hard to describe that, but yeah, next time.